Alright, I think my stream is running now. Let's see. Looks like it is. I'm gonna trust the... Test voice. Yeah, okay, it works. Um, well, I figured since it's the last day of um, the season for Ishgard housing, I would actually stream my mining to show you guys my uh, how I do it and the rate I progress uh, make or uh, how many points I get per hour, or whatever. So. I figured I'm going to do like a two hour and 40 minute mining session in Diadem. I'm very tired. I've been doing this for like nine days and it sucks. But yeah, I figured I would stream what I've been doing and how I've been getting points and kind of my route that I take while I do it. Um, if you end up watching my stream, uh, feel free to... Uh, Ask a question in chat if you have any questions. I'm going to go in and before I go in, I'm gonna make sure that I don't need to give any points. Okay. And m in my two hour and 40 minute session, I expect to get about uh, 20K points. Before I do that though, did want to get some high cordials, which I think I should be able to get because I just turned in some some yellow script points. So let's grab the high cordials. Get 88 of them. That should last the whole Two hours and 40 minutes, I think. Hopefully it will. Okay, so set top bar. No, I don't want to go to Marzook. This has fried my brain. I can't even teleport correctly. All right. Um, so I didn't have any points to get in my inventory. We are just going to go in for two and a half, uh, two hours, forty minutes, and. Then we will be done. And it is fire weather, so that is the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to go to that node and I'm going to start using food. And then we'll go on the normal route that I take. actually pretty decent to get this uh, first thing so I can use up my GP. Um, yeah, here's another food. Okay, now we will start. Get the collectability off. We will be taking the inner path, which I guess is the perception path. And we'll be doing a little, a few little things that I've been kind of doing to try and get more points 
along the way as well. My goal is always to kind of fly as little as possible and um, try and get as many plus five nodes as possible. So I'll do a lot of things like skipping these uh, unspoiled nodes because if they pop like in a bad place then it's just like not worth my time to go get them. Yeah, and I'm sorry if I start yawning. I'm just very tired. I'm going to sleep after this, um, this round of two hours. Well, unless I get a second one, then maybe I'll stay longer. So, since I kind of know where all the nodes are, I'm just automatically flying to them, but you can always use that ability to figure it out. I think it's, what's it? Lay of the land. I mean, I just, I've done this so much that I know where it is already. And then the next node will be the plus five nodes, so that's why I have 500 GP saved up. And we will be King's yielding too to get it. My cordial's on cooldown, so after this node, I will use it and head to the next node. like three more nodes down here or four so this one and then the three down below and then we will use the tornado to jump up to the next island one and if it's not killed by the time I um, 
you know, I'm able to kill it. I'm gonna kill that Coblin right there. It just depends if someone else decides to target it. Okay. Since I have enough uh, compressed aether. Basically, I only... Well, I only go for the mining mobs because I'm going for minor points and... I usually only go for the mobs that are like right next to the mining points, just so it's a little bit faster. So at this next node, it's another plus five, so I'll King's Yield too. And I'm going to try and shoot the mob that's like right next to that one. Okay. King's Yield too. And then my cordial's also almost on cooldown. But it seems like the golem that's normally here is gone, so I will move on to the next two nodes. Uh, the next node doesn't have a mob next to it, but the mob after this one sometimes has like a, a water dude next to it. Not a water, like it drops water, it's like a stone dog. See, it's like right over there, I can see it. So I'm going to try and kill that one first, and then hit the the node. One more node on this island. And then we'll drop down to the second island. So I'm not sure if actually taking this tornado is faster. I feel like it might actually be slower and I should just fly down, but I've always just taken the tornadoes. try and shoot this cobblin if I can. And then on to the next node. Okay, well, I want to save up my GP because the next node after this one will be the plus five on the lightning island. Uh, this little island here has the unspoiled lightning node, but since it's not up, I don't have to do anything weird to get both of them at the same time. Okay, so after this, I'm going to hit both the nodes on this island. And we're going to start kind of going into the gathering path just a little bit. Like the gathering uh, skill up path. I don't know how to explain it. It's like, there's two paths on this island. One of them is the perception path, which is the one I'm usually going on. And I'm going to do all of those, but I do some nodes on the gathering path. And every two laps I get an extra plus five. Oh, there's so many people on here. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and my, my cordial's up. Uh, hopefully it hasn't been on cooldown for that long. Okay. I downed the thing. And now we're gonna get these next two nodes that are on this rock. I 
their gauge is full, and at the end of this island there should be a golem that is next to a mining node that I can usually hit. So, but if I don't have it there, I'm going to just go down below and hopefully hit the um, another mob that's like right down there. I need to use my GP on this next hit. I just... Sometimes I lose track of what I'm doing, so... But I'm not wasting any GP hits, so we're good. So this is the golem I was talking about. I'm going to try and shoot it as long as someone else doesn't. Because I can probably shoot it from this node. There we go. Now we're going to jump down. We're going to get two nodes and then a plus five. Plus five, so we use King Zeal too, and my cordial is also almost off cooldown. See, I came into this patch with like almost a thousand high cordials, and I've gone through every single one of them. Which is very sad, <laughs> but I mean, I guess I'll get my stock back up. I'm never going to go at this rate ever again, so it's at least that. Okay, one more node for this island, and we'll jump up. There's a mob here I can usually hit, but I don't think it's gone right now. And then up above, at the next node, there is also a mob that I can... Uh, shoot with my compressed aether and then the last island that's the water island has a lot of rock mobs as well and it seems like the one that's next to this node is actually gone right now it pops kinda over over there like in between this rock and that tree over there or I mean it might be like close to the tornado than over by the tree Okay, time to hit this one. I feel like it's going to lightning weather, and I am most likely not going to get that because I do not want to waste my time flying around because I think that is actually pretty detrimental to my point game. If I'm able to get around fast enough, I can maybe hit it, but I honestly think I'm too far out of my loop to be able to get that. So we're probably going to skip it entirely. Because I think, if I remember the point values, which sometimes I don't, but I, I think that the the star nodes are plus 31 points each, and then the um, unspelled ones are plus 35. 
but yeah, I mean, it might be worth it, but like, honestly, I just do not want to fly like halfway across the map just for that one unspoiled node. It just seems like take up way too much time. Okay, I'm almost two bars of full compressed aether, so I'll probably use those on the mobs that are up above on the next island, assuming that they're there. And my cordial's also almost off cooldown. So we will use that probably on the chocobo. I have a really bad habit of using the cordials while I'm like, right before, oh, oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. Right before getting on the chocobo, and I think that wastes a lot of time because you can use it while you're flying. But, you know, I'm not always paying attention, so whatever. Okay, one more on this island, and then we're going to jump up. So, this is another instance where I'm going to start going into the gathering path. Where this first node that's up here is actually a gathering path node. And that is one of them I'm going to get on this island. It's right over here. It's pretty convenient to get. And then I'm going to shoot this... Uh, Earlith, if you know someone doesn't already beat me to it. And then after this, I'll probably try and shoot this Coblin. go after here and then keep on the perception path and at the end of this island is a plus five and then the loop repeats and I get to do the other half of my uh, two-part loop nodes I can probably do another bountiful yield too I think it's called bountiful yield yeah I'm bad with names of uh, actions and then there's usually a cobbling down there I'm gonna shoot it if it is yeah so I'm gonna probably shoot it before I get the node I can target the node while I'm shooting it, and I can't do it the other way around. Yeah, I'm fairly certain I'm not going to be able to get that unspoiled lightning node. Oh well. Ideally, I would be able to like hit the lightning node and the plus five node that's on that island at the same time, but yeah, it's like in a bad place in my like mining path, I guess. And yeah, just like too much flying around. 
Maybe it might be more points. I I just always seem to get less points every single time I like go out of my way to fly to an island and do something like that. Alright. This note again. Okay, uh, so not this next node, but like in two nodes, I believe. I'm gonna be hitting like another gathering path node. So this next one, perception path, and then there's going to be one, see that blue one on the mini map? It's like, oh, I should probably hit that first. Okay, so it's like right here. Uh, that's the node I'm going to get, and then there's going to be one that pops like right here. Ah! I want to pop that up. So. And you gotta remember there is a plus five node coming up in two nodes. And my uh, cordial's almost, almost off cooldown as well. So, I don't know, maybe I should, hmm. Okay. We're going to do that. I'm gonna go and use that. Go back to that. I just want to use two bountiful yields because I can use a cordial like now. Yeah. Get that cordial off cooldown. Then King's Yield too. So even though I'm going mostly on the perception path, I still want to have like all my three gathering stats, like gathering, perception, and GP all kind of stat capped because I'm not exactly sure what the tipping point is, but I definitely want the gathering for, King, uh, not King's Yield, but Bountiful Yield too because my native gathering, if I wasn't using food, is actually like too low to uh, get like a plus one on one of the nodes. It'll only give me plus two while with the uh, my food that I'm using right now, it's giving me plus three per bountiful yield too. Almost to the plus five node that's up above, and there's also that same mob we shot earlier. Hopefully, it's still there because I have uh, aether to shoot at it. node and then the next one will be a plus five node.
King Zeal 2, and then I'll use the Cordial next, or after this. And then we're going to shoot that Golem. be two more nodes on this island and then on this next island I'm going to be dipping into the gathering path again and getting two extra nodes this node. Then a gathering path node that's kind of like on the side of this rock right here. I always like miss this one and go straight to the perception node and then I'm like oh crap I need to get this one. <laughs> but. Shoot that. Gonna get the perception node, and then there's another gathering node. See, there's one gathering node right here, but it's like too out of my like normal path that I really don't like getting it. And then since I'm like pretty much on the cooldown for a cordial, I'm going to just go like that. And then use a cordial before going up to the top. It's good golem to shoot, but I don't have enough aether. Okay, King's Yield 2. And then the mining node will po pop in a second here. This is another node that I always like forget to hit and then I'm like, oh crap. <laughs> I've already jumped down and you come back up here to hit it. All right, so now we're gonna go down to the bottom. And because I've been hitting those like extra gathering nodes, that's why there wasn't two nodes there this time. Because, I don't know how to explain this very well, but like, the perception path and the gathering path have like, four or five like, segmented things that are like, a line of seven nodes, and for whatever reason they're like, tied around the island, so if you hit node number one in some place, like, all the node number ones are going to be gone, and then the node number two is going to be available, like in the the four different paths. 
Sorry, I'm explaining this very poorly, so... But... That is why I'm able to, like, kind of hit these gathering nodes and I know where they're going to pop. And I can do them in a way that they're, like, kind of close to the perception nodes that I'm going to hit anyway, because I do the entire perception path. So I don't have to fly as much. I've thought way too hard about this. Uh, okay, well... I'm gonna hit the golem with my aether cannon if I'm able to. So I'm in like a place right now where I'm like, my cordial's about to come up and I'm about to hit a plus five node. So I think on this node and the next node I'll use the Bountiful Yield too because I'm pretty sure that my um, cordial will be up. And I don't think I'm going to be wasting any GP by doing that. I'm always worried about wasting GP. Because that is how I get lots of points. Okay, I didn't waste any GP. But if I'm not quick, I will. Okay, and on the next stretch I have to be a little bit careful as well. Because this is where the, the double plus five nodes are going to come up. So I'm going to have to be careful about my GP usage a little bit. It, uh, it's also kind of wonky because um, high cordials I think are on a 3 minute timer. Yeah. And because I ran out of those, I'm, I've been using like uh, normal cordials that are like 3 minutes and 36 seconds is their recast. So it's like a little bit awkward. So like the cordals come up at different times, and I rely on the cordals for being able to do this. So sometimes I'm like holding a cordial, or I'm uh, like waiting on the node to get 500 GP, and I just like usually take a little bit of a break if that's the case. <laughs> I'm like I don't want to sit here. And then just wait for my GP to come up. Usually take my bathroom break or something. Okay. So we're going to do these three perception nodes. I guess it's, yeah, three or four perception nodes. And then there will be a gathering node. And then another perception node. And then it will be the plus two, plus five nodes. One of them will be on the gathering path. And one of them will be on the perception path. And it's wind weather. And this is like a botanist node. And I have been ignoring every single botanist node. Since I've been purely aiming for points. After like the first day. I was getting them on like the first day, but I was like, this is not worth my time. So my cordial's about to be up, which means I can probably spare like a uh, like a bountiful yield too. Maybe not though. I'm not gonna use it. And this is a gathering path node that I'm hitting right now. The next one will be a perception path node. And then I'll get the plus five a gathering path node and then the plus five perception path node. So plus five.
Use my cordial and then I'll get the second plus five. And I always try and limit my uh, the number of abilities I use to that one, like one in the beginning, as much as possible. Sometimes I'm not thinking, and I use both like Bountiful Yield Two and King's Yield Two, but probably should just like wait for a new node to use those abilities. I don't know if it's that much faster, but every little bit kind of helps. node and I don't see the cobbling up and I'll probably hit the Uralith but usually that's pretty far away. I like hitting the uh, cobbling. Actually I'm probably gonna just skip that Uralith and go for the, ooh, the cobbling popped. Uh, this guy, the Isle Keeper. Oh, am I being dumb? I might be being dumb. Oh, I hope I'm not being dumb. So, why I'm saying I'm being dumb is because I only have 200 GP, which means I've been kind of not paying attention to when I'm using Bountiful Yield to, which means I'm going to have to wait at the plus 5 node. But, that's what mining does. <laughs> I just, I stop paying attention. But I think my cordial will be like kind of off, like almost off cooldown because it's a high cordial. So that will be at least uh, a good thing. I might actually be okay. But with like a normal cordial, it's usually kind of bad when I am not monitoring what I'm doing very carefully. I usually have to wait at the node if I'm not paying attention. It's like, I'm going to bountifully yield to this. But because it's a high cordial and it's like a, a smaller timer, it's a little bit better. Okay, yeah, it's almost off cooldown. And see, that's where, where I was saying before, where I used the cordial before. I got on the chocobo, I should probably just wait. Because it like locks me up for a second. Okay, well, that was a full round. And by around, I mean like the two laps that I take, and now it kind of like resets my progress, and now I'm back to the beginning of what I was doing before. So, we'll go back to the first thing. And do it over again. And we'll do that a total of four times. Two laps. So, eight laps total. And I kind of judge my progress by like how much food I have left, so I'll use two more food after this one. Usually I'm not 
paying quite as much attention as I am now, so there's always times where I'm like, oops, I missed one of the gathering path nodes. So I'll go like an extra lap to just kind of hit things or, I, you know, I'm lazy. I just kind of want to hit the perception path. Like the perception, just going after perception path nodes seems fine. It's just pretty sure this yields more points in the end if you do it like this. Could be a little bit wrong. It's probably about the same, honestly. Probably gonna want a bountiful yield too, and then cordial, and then hit the plus five. But am I gonna waste GP? I honestly might. So I might do eh, whatever. I will waste a few GP. I'm gonna waste so much though. It's gonna be like 30. Yeah. I don't like doing that. But it sometimes happens. But I also don't like having to click off the like auto gather quick gathering. Because it's kind of a pain. To like uncheck it and then like hit bountiful yield twice and then you know check it again but there are times when like sometimes I just don't know if I'm like a few seconds off my cordial or not Next node. Three more down here after this one, uh, and hopefully I'm able to either cannon the cobblin down there. And then, yeah, it's all just it repeats, <laughs> it repeats so many times. The person. Killed the cobblin. Now I can't get it. So sad. Like going from that plus five to this plus five, usually the um, cordial's not back up. Where there's like some of the um, some of the things I do, the cordial definitely isn't going to be or is going to be like up by the time I hit the plus five node. So yeah, like this one is going to be up like after plus five. There we go. Then the golem's up, We're gonna hit the golem. Oh, nope, I'm not gonna hit the golem. Someone killed it. I bet it is you, you person on a fat cat flying around. Well, hopefully I can hit the dar because I am getting pretty. or I have three bars of Aether Cannon right now.
So yeah, I'm gonna hit the, the stone dog. Target the mining node. And we'll just. Ah, here we go. Excuse me. Hopefully the cobblin will be up. I'm gonna try and use my aether on that. Let's see. Oh, that's up. And then Oh, are you shooting? No, he's not shooting. I'm gonna hit the dog, and then I'm going to try and hit the golem as well. Sometimes this block, uh, this uh, rock blocks away, so I had to move like a little bit out of it to be able to hit that golem. Is the weather changing? There we go. Doesn't look like the it looks like the weather is changing, but it doesn't seem to be. Okay. Let's hit this. But if it did change the lighting right now, that would be nice because I have my cordial almost back up. I can hit these two nodes and then I can hit the lightning node and it would be perfect timing. It rarely works like that. So I've been lucky a few times. I just kind of hate it when I'm like having to backtrack for lightning and uh, fire nodes. Fire nodes, for whatever reason, doesn't seem as bad to backtrack on. And usually, if it like pops right behind me, I'll I'll usually hit the. Um, hit the lightning node, but if I'm like all the way south or in just like a super inconvenient place, like if the fire node popped right now, I would not go for it at all. No way. Too far away. And I'm sure there's like something that's very similar to this for the botanist nodes. It seems from uh, like reading Reddit that it, the botanist nodes are pretty similar to the minor nodes. It just goes like in a different direction. Okay, let's try and hit the golem. Might be too far away though.
And then uh, another node, and then the plus five node. We'll just hit the cordial after it. After the plus five, that is. I'll waste a few seconds on the cordial. I'd rather waste just like time cooldowns on the cordial than waste up GP because I don't have as many cordials as I would like. And I did it again. Honestly, I don't think that's something I'm ever gonna like stop doing. Which is hitting my cordial and then getting on the chocobo. It's just gonna take up extra time forever. Oh, that mob that was there and not there the last time it was there, but I'm not gonna have enough aether after this. I'll be like one node short of uh, getting enough aether to hit it. But maybe the. The block will be there when we go up above. Yeah, it's there. So if no one hits it, I will uh, hit it after this node. Oh, someone's hitting it. I see him over there. There's been a few times where, like, we've both been hitting it. I think someone got mad at me because I, like, hit it before them. Got someone angry emoting at me. And I was like, whoops. And... I think it was, like, I was trying to offload all my Aether. So I can, like, leave the zone. So they, like, I hit the mob, they got angry at me, and I just, like, automatically left. So they might have thought I was, like mad at them or something. Oh, fire weather, I think. Is it fire weather? It looks like fire weather. Yeah, fire weather. So this next round, I will hit the fire island and then go down below. And I'll probably use up a food when I'm flying there, because it kind of takes time to fly over there. That was weird. I feel like this is like... I don't know, that that felt like I wasn't doing animations or something. That was weird. I'm just tripping. I think I'm just like really sleepy. And I'm rambling. Oh. I'm going to hit the gathering node and then the perception nodes. And I'm probably also gonna kill this guy with either cannon. Oh no, oh no, that's a fisher. <laughs> I thought for a second it was a guy who was either cannoning. Who is that? I 
kind of wish I like had my names on for other players during this. Cause I like never know who's who. Cause I'm pretty sure like I've seen these people over and over again. Okay, kill the goblin. Oh, and I guess I should mention that because the fire node popped like kind of when I was back on that last island, it's a short enough distance where it's not going to be a problem for me to like go and hit that node after I'm done with this island. Like it's on my path, basically. Ooh, and so far in the last uh, amount of time, I'm at 532 uh, jade. It's pretty good. It's pretty good yield. Uh, yeah, and no, uh, it's fine for me to have used that. I was thinking, like, do I need that for the fire node? But I really don't think I do. Because I'm going to pop the high cordial, which is 400. Ooh, and I'm going to have enough press saver to blow up that cobbler. Yeah, blow up the cobbler. Use my cordial, and then while we're flying, oh, I should <laughs> never gonna do that, right? Uh, but while we're flying, I'm gonna gonna pop another food. So, go in my inventory. I need to buy more of this food. I'm way too lazy to craft it, even though it says that I did craft it. I did craft like a hundred of these when the week first started. The mushroom sautés. Should have crafted more. Then hopefully by the time I'm like halfway through this island, I'll be um, I'll have my cordial up at least. I I should. And then I'm on lap four, right? I think so. I'm trying to think to myself. It all kind of blends together. <laughs> I don't remember what lap I'm on. Four sounds correct though. Got an enable gathering. But yeah, if I use my bountiful yield too, should be okay. Cause I'll have my cordial up before the plus five node. Plus 500 on this one too. It's good. I think I usually get like 600 on a few of these um, items like halfway through. Now 20 minutes left. But that is usually like around 10k points when I get like 500 to 600 of each of the items.
cordials back up. See, you go through cordials fast doing this. Bed. Why are you sleeping on a bed right above the node? Who's that? Black Rose Megami. Or Mi. Miyugami? Miyugumi. Oh. Can't read right now. Just so you know, there's an S rank in Leviathan, middle of Nasia that just popped. Okay, plus five node. I'm trying to think. The next node that I'm gonna have to worry about like hitting extra is going to be not this island, not the next island, but the little island after that, before the Thunder Island. So I wanna hit those two nodes and then I will get the plus five on the island before the water island. Horses back up. I should probably start using my GP because it's probably going to be up before I get to the next plus five node. Yeah, it's going to be up after this node right here, so we'll use up a bountiful yield too, and then we'll use a cordial. Shot it. Oh well. I think uh, the goblins just dropped Jade. I usually like killing the. I think it's called like the idols or something. There's one up here. You can just read the name. Which I usually skip because it's like out of the way of the node. The Isle Keeper. I like shooting those. I don't know why. It's because like rock salt might be worth like two gil extra than everything else. Oh, King's Yield too. I almost like did not King's Yield too right there. I was like, I'm gonna bountiful yield and then just hit it. Here you go, Golem. I'm gonna murder you right now. Yeah. Okay. And then, are you there, dog? Beast? Ooh, is it lightning weather? No, I just got excited for a second. I was like, oh, I'm gonna be able to hit the lightning node. What's my life become? 
I'm excited for hitting a lightning node. Oh, and I only have 429 rock salt. Let me go hit more idols, I guess. Then I'm gonna hit this guy instead. Okay, I'm at 500 of the Cloudstone now, which I've been probably just calling Adamantite because it looks like Adamantite. And then I think I'm going to um, have my High Cordial up before that plus Yeah, I'm definitely getting that High Cordial up before that plus 5 node, so I'm definitely going to try and uh, King's Guild too. And this is also the island I'm gonna hit two extra nodes on. So we're gonna hit this one. How long has that been up for? Well, shouldn't be too bad. I don't think I wasted too much. Should've just hit this node and used it. My idiot. Oh well. So I got about 10 minutes left until I actually hit the uh, halfway point of my, uh, of my, I guess, my route or my round that I usually do. Because I just used my new food and my other foods last 40 minutes each. So that's a hundred or one hour and 20 minutes. I usually don't go over like my last food unless I have like, you know, it's almost time to cannon a mob or something. Also, my gear, just to show everyone, it's all like spirit bonded. I'm just, I don't have the time to, you know. Since I'm going for points, I just don't have the time to take out the the materia. Someone was just shouting like spirit bond check. So I'm just like, oh I can't even do that. <laughs> I don't have the time to do that. It's not it's not worth it. Even though I'm probably losing a lot of uh opportunities for Gil by not doing it. So I'm actually going to skip this golem, even though it's here. And I'm going to try and kill that Isle Keeper down below, just because it drops rock salt. And I don't- I think that's the whole thing I'm like running lowest on right now, like compared to the other other few things. Because I kind of like to keep all the items 
even-ish, if possible. But I want to hit this node first so I don't waste my GP. I'm going to hit the Isles Keeper right after though. Assuming no one's going to go after it. Yeah, and that's 30. 30 whole rock salts. Oh, you know what? I'm looking ahead of time, and I'm pretty sure that the the cordial timer is actually pretty wonky on uh, this round. So I might have to like hold my cordial for a little bit. I'm gonna have to be kind of careful with my GP here, I guess. We'll see. Because this is a you know the double plus five node coming up again. And I don't want to have to like, I don't know, wait at the node, I guess. I'll kill this this guy after. Or no? Are you going far away? He looks like he's going too far away from my cannon, so I'm not going to bother. This guy though. I'm gonna shoot him like right now because I can hit this, or I can target this node. So I have 30 seconds until my cordial is up, but I also have the two plus five nodes up ahead. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to let my cordial sit on cooldown as much as I don't like to do that. And then just let my GP naturally regen and hit the cordial after I'm done with the, the plus fives. Okay, it looks like there's earth weather. Earth weather is like super pretty in here. I don't know if we've gotten it in this like instance that I've been uh, rambling in. But like the colors like look super cool. You can see down below. Probably, yeah, I'll use that, and then I'll hit King's Yield 2 on the next one, and then use my Cordial and do another King's Yield 2. And we're four minutes from the halfway mark. Which, I mean, it seems like I do two laps every 40 minutes. Which is a good rate. Oh, I did it! I did it! There. <laughs> I hit my cordial after at the choke.
so I'm pretty sure like I haven't seen that many people in the zone as of uh, the last few minutes so we might be in like a an instance where just like people aren't trickling in which is kind of nice that means like more of the mobs will be up and I'm not gonna have to worry about people shooting them so then I can actually start to target specific items like the rock salt golems when they're up like I want to hit this one after I hit this Eighty two seconds, eighty seconds. I don't know if I'm gonna get the cordial up before or after I get to the, the last node. Cause I kinda wanna start using my GP if that's the case. Sixty seconds. Hmm. Maybe if I shoot, and there's two mobs. Yeah, okay, I think I'm going, uh, should I? Nah, I'm not, I'm not gonna use my GP. I'm just gonna wait at the, the plus five node, I think. Yeah, so 27 seconds. They're gonna come up at the same time. Like I'm gonna have 500 GP as soon as like the cordial hits uh, like zero. So And then I finished my lap and it's 40 minutes left now. I can use my food soon. My last food of my uh, the go around. So the the one path reset, so I guess like the next gathering path node I'm gonna get is on that lightning island. I'll probably stop rambling as much. I got I got another hour and twenty minutes of this. I probably should just mute my mic and like listen to a podcast for the rest of this. Probably no one is listening to me talk anyway for two hours and 40 minutes. And I have nothing new to say at this point, like, that's basically the path. The only other thing I'm gonna, like, try and show in this video is, like, what my point total is at the end of this go-around. It's the only thing I can think of why people would be remotely interested. I'm assuming I'm gonna hit, like, 20 to 21k. I'm lucky maybe 22k which is pretty good for two hours and 40 minutes like it takes a lot of time to get as many points like I spent like so many hours in the last 10 days doing this and I've been averaging like 60, well, like, yeah, I've been averaging like 60 to 70k on most days. There's like one day I hit like, or maybe two days I hit 50k because it was brand new and I was still trying to like figure things out. And then there was a few days when the person below me was getting a lot of points. So I was like, oh, I'm just going to go at it really hard. And I got like 100k points and it's, it's too much. <laughs> I would not recommend doing that at all. Because, I mean, like, even... Oh, there's that person. Rebel Yell. 
they are the person that's below me and that's the person I'm trying to kind of get more points than. I don't know if they can catch up to me at this point, but I'm pretty sure they can. I really want to get the top spot just because I've been kind of going at this really hard and I figure I might as well, might as well try. What are they doing? They're like jumping up and down. I don't know what that person's doing. <laughs> That's really weird. I don't know. Whatever. And yeah, my mind has gone like numb at this point. Get distracted by that person like jumping up and down. I mean, I'm trying to think if I should actually go and do the gathering path just to show everyone, because I'm never going to make a video about this again. I don't want to. I don't want to do this gathering anymore after today, which is the last day of the season. I'm done. <laughs> at least at least the right. I might. I'm going to do botany, but I'm. I don't think I'm going to be mining again. Maybe to get like the unspoiled nodes to do crafting, but I'm definitely not hard grinding like this again. And I'll probably not be on Miner again, because I'm already done with Miner at this point. But the gather- oh, like, the gathering path is the outer path, so... Um, if you see on the map here, it goes, like, all the way out here, which is, like, so out of the way. Oh. Oops. <laughs> Cannot chocobo and talk at the same time and look at the map. Ooh, the golem's up again. So yeah, this is, seems like a good island just to like shoot things. This and like the next island and the um, the water island. The first island that you go to is like terrible because the only like stone mobs that you can find really are the the ones in that like the little inlet that's on the um, the gathering path. So if you're doing the gathering path, like those two mobs are pretty they're in pretty convenient places. But on that first island, the only, uh, like, besides the cobble that's at the really end, the only other mob is the one that's, like, near the first plus five node. And, but it's usually, like, too far away to shoot from the node, so I never, never bothered to get it. Okay. Time to kill the beast. Someone killed that one. Oh, it's... Is that the... Yeah. This person has, like, sonic glamours on, I'm pretty sure. They're, like, bright blue. Let me look at them. Bright blue, and they have, like, white gloves. Red shoes. 
pretty sure that's Sonic. Anyway, I'm <laughs> back to mining and not looking at people's random glamours. So I've uh, been distracted a total of like 15 seconds of just random stuff. Ooh, I can see that person better now. I don't know if you can see him. Well, I'm bad at camera angles, I guess. Oh, yeah. Right here. I've seen them before in here, though. Then I think I asked them, gotta go fast, and they didn't reply to me. It's probably because I said something I'm saying. They probably think I'm a weirdo. next weather change will be. I think, you know, I'm gonna change up how I'm doing these next, like, gathering nodes just to show you guys kinda how the, like, node system works, if you're even gonna watch the video this long. So, um, you know, I've been getting, like, the... the node on the water island, which... like, the gathering node. I'm gonna skip it this time, and it's gonna pop, like, the... oh, shit! No! <laughs> okay. Well, I didn't mean to do that. I'm gathering the wrong thing. <laughs> anyway, uh... What it's gonna do is it's gonna pop nodes over here. Like, different nodes. Because I'm gonna skip... Make sure I get the right one here. I'm gonna be skipping the the one the gathering node on this island, and then the one that's like on the path in this island, and then there's gonna be more that pop like right here. I think it's like turning lightning weather when it's not. It's just like normal, normal clouds. Mm, well, I'll take my chances. I'll, I'm gonna kill the Isle Keeper down here.
Excuse me. Should probably use another food um, while I'm doing my six lap, like while I'm going from the water island to the the northern island. talking about that that guy who is like going on his chocobo and exiting I might report them I don't know I don't usually report botters cuz but yeah that what I saw earlier was probably a bot I'm not sure <laughs> very 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 likely Task Force ain't doing anything, Mystic Knight. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I mean, once I do my next pass of uh, mining, you can you can kind of see the bot if you're still watching this. Oh, I wanna I wanna use my cordial. Like. Uh, if I can pop up the map. They're like hanging out around here is when I saw them. So they're probably still there. No, what they're doing right now, like when I was um, passing by them was like, they were getting on their chocobo and like flying up in the air and then dropping and then they were doing it that over and over and over again. I was just like, what? By the way, I'm passing this node to just show you guys like how the the gathering paths work. So I'm skipping that gathering path node that I have been getting like the last uh, two times I've uh, done this. I have no idea why that bot is doing the the whole choke about thing. But yeah, it will be in like I'll probably pass them again in the next like eight minutes.
Gonna go kill this mob. Max level in 1.0? Wasn't it just like you would just take like a group of people and you'd have like the level 50 grind on wolves and then everyone gets like level 50? <laughs> that was the system in 1.0 that I remember. Power leveling. Oh, you mean like the... you're trying to level up your weapon and your... your other... what was it? There's like two different leveling systems in the beginning of 1.0. It was really dumb. I do not miss that though. Just like after the end of 1.0 you get like the... the whole... oh, you could just like power level everyone now. <laughs> I remember like people used to be like they would have no gear on and they would just like be punching a random mob in 1.0 to level up. 1.0 was a weird game though. Yeah, I mean, they had the 1.0 definitely had a lot of issues with its development, and like they did a bunch of beta, you know, the beta and the alpha tests, but they didn't change anything about it. They're kind of like, well, it's good enough, and so what happened? <laughs> Tanaka, Tanaka got fired, and Yoshi P replaced them. I mean, when he got, like, I think they said he was sick, and then he just, like, kind of left the company. I think that's, like, the official statement that they had. And then he's, like, working for some Chinese company now. It was kind of weird. <laughs> Okay, so, um, like I was saying before, like the perception path, this node that I have been getting before is gone, but the nodes up here will be available. And we are going to be running into the bot pretty soon here, or potential bot. Yeah, we'll we'll see the bot, Mystic. So while I'm getting this node, you can kind of see it. So this person right here, if you see them, they're like getting on their chocobo and like disengaging, like over and over again. Oh, wow. Ah. Yeah, this person right here. If you, can you see him? I don't want to like totally out them since people are reporting him. But yeah.
He has a, a fan base surrounding him now. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. That person is probably going to get reported by a lot of people. <laughs> so, I don't know, like... People complain all the time that, like, bots don't get banned. So I don't actually know if they'll do anything about it. My stuff is about to break. So I think on the next node, now that I know it's about to break, I'm gonna very quickly go into the repair menu while I'm in the node. Just to kind of save myself some time, so I'll hit, hit repair. Then I'll wait for this node to be done to repair all my stuff. Like now is safe. I'm gonna hit this cobblin. And then we're gonna go up above. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to use food. Uh, I'll find a good time to use it soon. Yeah, you turn it into like the uh, uh some guy in the firmament, and they give you like points. So. My goal here is to like get as many points as possible in like the shortest amount of time and I'm kind of just going through the path that I've been using. Oh, bleh. I forgot to use King's Guild too. Whoops. Anyway, <laughs> I've been uh, going on the path that I've been kind of like getting the most points on. Of course I screw up just like, like I just did now. So I'll probably make up for it by using Bountiful Yield, to, you know, to on this next node. But it's not ideal because I'm not getting as many items as I would with, like, you know, my GP. I'm not min-maxing by doing this. But, I mean, this is pretty good. That's, for That's not good, though. I just used another thing that I shouldn't have used, which is on Earth 3. Okay, well, I used up my GP. <laughs> <laughs> by making lots of mistakes. <laughs> so that's something you don't want to do. I guess that's what you get for uh, going at it for like an hour and 30 minutes. You're bound to make mistakes or if you're distracted. Alright, so I'm hitting the point where um, before the this node wasn't up before because I was hitting the mobs on the, the water island or the nodes on the water island and the one on that like path on the first island. But they show up here because I didn't hit those nodes. And then there'll be an extra node down below and then I can do the path that I was kinda doing before. And that plus five node will be there.
Oh, it's right here. This is why I don't like uh, doing it this way, just because this, um, I don't know. I don't like having to zigzag as much with the controller. I feel like this is a little bit more out of the way than the, um, the two nodes that I usually get. And it's more spaced out for like my cordial usage also. If I do it on the other two, I don't, uh, other two islands. Whereas like doing it this way, I'm just doing all this, these extra nodes on this island alone. Which I guess can sometimes be all right, especially if you know that like the, the lightning uh, weather is gonna come up and you have to double cordial it anyway. Double note it here. I'm gonna kill this, kill this monster right here. And I'm probably gonna use up my GP a little bit, so I'm gonna turn this off and not be dumb. So King's Yield 2 here. Let's see, I have uh, 8 minutes left on food, which means I have 48 minutes left in here. I do need to find a good opportunity to kind of use my food though. Probably on like the, the wind tunnel down maybe. Or maybe it will last long enough for me to get that last plus 5 node. We'll see. I just don't want to like get into a situation where I just like forget to use food though, which I do all the time. I'm just like not paying attention. I think the hardest thing about this is like actually paying attention. And I mean, if you don't pay attention, you just like lose out on points, which is not a big deal. But it is less efficient. Then I shouldn't waste any GP. Or I might waste like a little bit, but not too much.
Okay, and I think at this point I'm going to try and let my GP rest and let my cordial come off cooldown so I can get the, um, the double plus fives up above. Probably gonna hit this uh, Uralith too with the Aether Cannon since it's right there. Unless these two, these two people decide to hit it. Here we go. We got it. Damn. Okay, it looks like there's gonna be Thunder Weather. And again, I'm in like a Oh, it's fire weather. I'm actually in a good spot. Never mind. It's a good spot to get uh, fire weather in. Excuse me. Okay, here's a plus five, and then the next node will also be a plus five. And then we'll all get the plus five at the end of the water island, and then we'll go to the fire island. And then hopefully, sometime soon, I'll have a good opportunity to use food, or I'm just gonna have to, you know, use food. I'll just use, or get into the menu during the next uh, node here. It's probably a better option. Let's see, inventory. Nope. Just use it when uh, all this mining stuff is done. So that means I have 43 more minutes left in here. Oh boy. It's not in range, I'm not gonna bother with it. Just gonna get this next one. There, I'm just gonna shoot it from here. 
save my GP as much as possible because I don't think this my cordial is gonna be up before the the plus five node on this island anyway. It might be like barely up, but then I can use the cordial to get the fire island node as well. Goblin down here. And then I'm going to use this. It's King's Yield 2. And then fly to Fire Island. And we're on our last 40 minutes, which is. Nice. Okay, time to go to Fire Island. I kind of wish there was like a quicker way to go here because I have to like go all the way here and then backtrack to like right there. So we'll go back to the path I was normally doing. So we'll get the extra nodes on the the water island and then the this path this next time. And we won't get those other two nodes that we got on the I don't know, like the north northeast island. It's more east. It's whatever this island is. I think it's, it's northeast. But we won't get those like two extra nodes over there that we did this that last mining round. And then we'll probably be passing by the the guy getting on his chocobo over and over again soon here. since it's on cooldown. So after this node will be the King's Yield node. 
we'll give a nice wave to the chocobo person, because that's a polite thing to do. Oh, no, they're gone. They probably got kicked out of Deodon. got turned around. Hmm. So my cordial's on a 60 second cooldown now. Am I going to have it up for the next plus five node? I kind of think I am going to have it on a uh, cooldown, so I'm going to start using my GP a little bit. And if I like kind of mistime this, since I have three bars of compressed aether, if I really do have to like just wait on something, I just go and like find a monster to blow up to kind of waste time. Because that takes time, and I mean, I guess it's a good opportunity if you like screw up to just like use your aether to kind of kill a few seconds. But you see it's like on cooldown now, so I'll use it before going up into the tornado. some GP if I'm not quick enough. Oh. Got it in time. Yeah. And then this time I won't screw up and I'll actually King's Yield to this, uh, this next node coming up here. And before I do that, I'm gonna actually get this, uh, it's golem dead. Because, um, usually I start worrying about using my aether at, like, three bars. Just because I want to wanna be really efficient about it. beast right here after this node I see you rebel I see you mining I think I'm in the... 
See, I lose track during this all the time. I'm pretty sure I'm at the beginning of my gathering node path now. So I should, uh... Yeah, I should keep note of that. I'm gonna I'm gonna waste a few GP. Rip. Oh well. It's not much, like at all. That I just wasted, but eh. it's never good to waste some GP. Um, King's Yield 2, and then I'll get both of the nodes up here. Oh, the rankings came out. I'll look at the rankings after this. I'm a little scared that that rebel person's gonna beat me. But I'm, I'm like 90k ahead of them. <laughs> I don't know. I, I didn't, I wasn't able to mine that much, as much as I wanted to today. So only, I mean... I say only, but I got 60k points, but, like, they've been doing a lot of mining, too. I mean, at least I have a good head start for the last day doing this, like, uh, stream that I'm doing, but I'm gonna have to, like, keep going at this rate, like, all day if, uh, they did catch up to me, like, a lot. I really don't know what they're doing though, as far as like how many points they're getting. It's stressing me out, man. <laughs> and I mean, it's not like you get anything for first place, but I've been trying to get that first place pretty bad. And I don't know why. <laughs> I, I don't have any reasons anymore. I've just kind of gone into insanity and I'm keeping it there. Just one more day though, and then I can play Animal Crossing for like the next week and just ignore this game. Except for when I have to do my raid static. Then I actually have to play. But other than that, I get to play Animal Crossing and it will be so much more fun than gathering for 2 hours and 40 minutes at a time. Doing this stupid loop. And if anyone is actually listening to me, they'll hear my uh, falling into madness right now, and I'm sorry about that. I apologize to whoever's listening to me right now. Oh, I should probably put back on quick gathering. And I'm probably gonna have to put on quick gathering again because of just how uh, that just worked. Cause I like, sometimes, oh, yeah. Sometimes if you like put it on and you're like mid swing and you like check the thing and it like automatically starts like, you're gonna have to check it again at the next node. I don't know why it is. It's like a, probably a slight glitch. Like a bug. Yeah, so you had to check it again to get it to start doing quick gathering again. Even though the last one actually quick gathered. Oh, 
Oh, I'm so scared. I don't want to look at the rankings. I guess I got 26 minutes of, uh, of stressing out. <laughs> I want to at least like get my uh, my two hour and forty minute rate of how many points I'm getting. Cause this is a, like this round is actually pretty good to probably represent that. Like this is besides a few mistakes, it's probably like, the fastest I've been going. Like there's a few times where I have actually gone this fast and kind of like went exactly this route. I mean, I always, like, mess up a node because, you know, I can't help but start to go brain dead just going in this loop and hitting the nodes over and over again. Oh, it's lightning weather. Yeah, I'm like in a terrible spot for lightning weather. So, if you see on the map, I'm like down here. I would have to go all the way back up there to get that node. And I really do not want to fly that way. So I'm just going to miss it. Uh, sad times. Ideally, I would get the node because honestly, like, especially since eventually I'm going to try and go for like 500k points on all jobs just because achievement points and mounts and stuff but like you're really gonna need a lot of those unspoiled nodes to be able to do that so the the fact that I'm kind of missing out by like trying to just go for minor points is unfortunate but I mean like I'm gonna go and do 500k on botanist too and I'm not gonna like try for the leaderboards at all this next time so I'll be able to get like the the, the minor nodes when they're up. But for point efficiency, I really don't think it's worth going all the way to the, like, the island back there. Um, plus five nodes soon, and then we only have one lap left. Just one lap left, and maybe extra node if I'm like one minute, one minute left, but probably not. And then now that I've actually done those for like the last, what, it's been like two hours and 20 minutes now. I will probably actually do a little bit more mining depending on what the, the leaderboards say. And even, I mean like I kind of, like doing the stream I've kind of um, woken up a little bit as far as, like I was really tired before but now I'm kind of more awake. So I'll do it until I get sleepy again. And then I'm probably just going to wake up early, like in the next four hours after I sleep, and try and go at it all day. And it's not going to be fun. And then I'm going to download Animal Crossing and I'll enjoy my life a lot more. Blow up the cobbling, I think. Oh. No, I'm not gonna blow up the cobbling because I didn't bountiful yield too, and I'm gonna waste GP if I wait at this node. So I'm gonna use 
my GP on the next node, and then blow up the Owl Keeper. Yeah, that's a good plan. Did I? Did I get the node over there? We're going crazy. I'm gonna check something. Just I think I got it. I'm just making sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got that node. Okay, we're good. I've kind of lost track of what I'm doing. I think I got all the nodes for my gathering path, but I don't really know anymore. It's been too long. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do... I think my food might actually wear out a little bit before I do the full next lap. But I'll probably go until the last uh, plus five node here, and then I'll call it good, and it will probably be like a little bit over two hours and 40 minutes, and we'll see what the, the score is at the end. Which, my guess is that it's going to be around 20 to 21k. Because I got, let's see, I got two fire nodes, or maybe three. I think I started with a one, one fire node up when we came in here. We'll see. Yeah, I think I've gotten three fire nodes, so three of those, and then I've been getting most of everything else that I've been needing to get. Though I did mess up a few times with the, like, not kings yielding the plus five and, um, getting, like, a tier one item for one of the nodes. That was a bad, that was a bad mistake. <laughs> That's, that only cost me, like, under 50 points, whatever. So I'll know if I screwed up in a second here. Um, since this is my last lap, if the node that I was like trying to go for before is not up, then that means that I did kind of screw up my like node rotation. So it ha there has to be like a node right there. And if it's not up, then I just like, you know, I'm not paying attention. I screwed up, my bad. So then, I mean, like, I could get the plus five node in another way, but it would be a little bit more roundabout, I guess. Like, the, um, the Northwest Island's actually a pretty good island to, like, maneuver around. And get nodes pretty easily, like, all the nodes. But, oh, I guess I didn't screw up because I see the node available. This node it is there, so I did not screw up.
Okie dokie. So. King's Yield 2. Back up. Um, oh. so I almost have. A thousand of this uh, rock salt now, and then I have I have a decent amount of every other item. I think I have a thousand plus of every other item from what I've been kind of like looking at in the the corner. Like I think I have like almost like this one I have a thousand of, but there's a few I have like a thousand two hundred of, and I have fourteen minutes left also, so I can probably easily get a thousand of every item. Kill the Coblin. Then I'm gonna attempt to kill the Golem up there if it's up. And then probably kill the Beast as well. It's, they're all kind of uh, conveniently placed. Get the king's yield off on that. Oh, that's gonna take me almost to 1,000 of this item. Um, I'm gonna kill the golem after this one. Assuming no one else does. I still have a few swings. Yeah. See, I have a uh, thousand two hundred and forty six of this item. Okay, now I hit over a thousand of this one. There's the guy who's just like Sonic. See, I'm pretty sure that doing that is quicker, so I'm probably just gonna do that this time. Just like flying down instead of like jumping down in the air. Eleven minutes left.
Ooh, oh no. It's like always a false sense of like, oh, it's lightning weather. No, I was just... I'm just going crazy. Lena, I don't know if you're watching the stream, which I doubt you are, but the reason I'm streaming Diodo is just to show people my path, because it's going to go on my YouTube channel, and also my descent into madness. Oh. Oh, you are watching my stream. Okay. I don't have to type it, yeah. I only have nine minutes left, Lena, and then I'm done with uh, my current round, and we're gonna see what my score is. Lena, do me a favor. Look at the miners score and tell me how, how much that rebel did. And how much did I do. And how hard am I going to have to work today. Because <laughs> I haven't looked at my score yet because I'm doing this. Oh, they're probably holding now. Uh, yeah, they're holding. I saw them today. I saw them mining. They're probably trying to get me not to do anything. Yeah, they're definitely... I saw them earlier. They're, they're hoarding. Or they just didn't do anything today. And said, screw it, and they're just trying to go for the 500k, but I don't know. I don't trust them. I think they're... I think they're gonna bomb on the last day. They're gonna do like 250k, and then I'm gonna lose all my score. And uh, this has all been for this has all been for nothing. Well, not nothing, cause whatever. <laughs> but This is a good image into the, the descent into madness that is, is caused by Diadem, though. Good documentation. Okay, plus five node coming up, and then we're gonna have to do that whole thing where I'm probably not going to uh, use my cordial for a while. So my cordial is gonna be up like after this node. So, but then we're gonna have the the two plus five nodes. Saki has the best score. It's 
better than those fishers on Exodus. Okay, after this node, I'm gonna shoot this guy, and then... Yeah, I think that's, that's the plan. And it is going to be wind weather? It looks like wind weather. Yeah. Yeah, mobs do not aggro you in Diadem. The only way that you're gonna like die to a monster in Diadem is that if you're like dumb, like I did one time where I like went next to a mob and then I like started auto attacking it for no reason. Yeah, they don't they don't aggro. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I did that. I do do that sometimes when I'm like trying to leave the zone. I just like attack a mob and let it kill me, just because. Why not? Oh, I should. I should not be using my bountiful yield too, though. No, I think my cordial will be up when I'm done with this first plus five node. That's what the timer looks like, at least. So I probably don't need to worry about that. Hopefully this does save to YouTube because for whatever reason my like Shiva streams didn't save there. The ones that we were doing are clears. Then this is all for nothing, this stream. Except to keep me awake. So I guess it's not exactly for nothing. I mean, it will be on Twitch for a while. I could probably upload it from Twitch to to YouTube. Yeah, hopefully. Lena, you missed the bot earlier. Yeah, there was someone that was like doing something weird where they were like getting on their chocobo and then like jumping down and then getting back on the chocobo and jumping down like over and over and over again. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. I think, I think whatever they were using broke. I'm on the last, like, two minutes of this. Hooray! So we'll probably, even if there's, like, a few seconds left, I'll probably end it at that plus five node. Unless, yeah. Even if my Aether Gauge is, like, almost done. Maybe I'll, like, hit extra node if, if I'm close to... Getting the Aether Gauge.
I'll get enough, like, barely a sliver on the on the last uh, Aether Gauge, so I'll probably, like, kill this Cobblin down here. And I'll let... I'll save this cordial for next time. Kill that guy, and then I do this last node. And then my food's done, so that means it's been 2 hours and 40 minutes. And I did 8 laps. Ugh. So we're gonna leave the zone, and we're gonna see how many, how much I got. All right. So, what am I at right now? I'm at six, one hundred sixty-seven. So one six seven two. Let's see. So we're gonna auto submit. I'll help you in a second. Okay, so I got 21k from that 2 hour and 40 minute session. It's pretty good. That's, uh, I mean, I don't know how to go fast with that, so... I did mess up a few times, but yeah. Anyway, that's it. I just want to show what I do for my gathering points, since I'm probably not going to be doing it this hardcore again. And maybe it'll help someone, so. Anyway, bye.